Hello, my name is Brandon Pinto and I'm a Mumbai based photographer. So during a pandemic like this, it's really been hard for a lot of artists, especially photographers, whom you would really see them out shooting. But because of this lockdown scenario, it's really been tough for them to get creative. And there's always this creative block that goes in our mind whenever we try to even create some content. So that's really one of the struggles I think I faced as a photographer. But I have still tried to keep going, tried to create something that would be creative and would really good, look good on my feed. So I, in photography, I have really been rejected when I am do, doing uh, street photography, like clicking pictures of strangers. So it's really been tough because not everyone's open to it. And in India, the mindset of clicking pictures of strangers it's very bad so it's like you can't click pictures you have to always ask permission so it's really been tough and i've been rejected many of times but how i overcome it was i have tried to come out from my comfort zone i used to be a shy kid so i tried coming out of my comfort zone trying to be more open and that's made me feel more open to them and get my shots So this actually started four to five years back when I started my journey of photography with just my mobile phone and that's when I started uh, handling a page called The Little Lens and um, yeah it started from there and uh, I used to take part in a lot of college fairs, won a lot of competitions and that's what made me realize that I think I should continue photography and I was really really passionate about it so I started continuing this journey and I'm still loving what I do. So I really love clicking nature and wildlife but I'm also trying to explore other different genres of photography like streets, portraits, flat lays, food photography and much more. Looking through other people's work really inspires me to be a better photographer. Pinterest has really been a good tool for me to get inspired by ideas and trying to recreate them in my own way. So that's really been a really good inspiration tool I feel. And obviously having supportive parents have really motivated me to continue the journey and to keep going. So whenever I go out shooting, I take 10 to 15 minutes to just scout the location, be it on the streets or in the garden. And that's my 10 to 15 minutes of just observing things. And I soon realize that I'm getting more creative because I'm observing as well as I'm trying to find beautiful uh, angles that I can shoot with. And that's when my creative juices flow. I keep myself motivated by um, looking through other people's work, trying to get some inspiration. That's what motivated me as well as uh, when it comes to inspiration, I feel my parents have been a really good role model where I can uh, have them supported and I feel loved by them and because of their support, I think that's what pushes me to be a better photographer. Mm -hmm. So a few years back I got featured on National Geographic as well as Scan in India so that would be one of my biggest accomplishments yet. So whenever I go out shooting it's mostly around the weekends maybe like a Friday, Saturday or Sunday and that's one of those days when I try to click pictures in bulk so I have content for uh, in the coming week. So from Monday to Friday, I have a lot of content in my feed. So it's not really hampered my personal and professional. So I'm, I'm actually studying in St. Andrews College and I'm currently pursuing a, a degree in Bachelors of Mass Media. The biggest aspect would be that it was all started five to six years back and I feel 
the experience is what has brought me here today my biggest piece of advice would be to not compare yourself to anyone do your best compare yourself to just yourself and um yeah do just be original and try to make content that you like and secondly make the content for your audience but always put yourself priority